Hello everybody. Um, it's been quite a demanding day uh, for various reasons. Alfie's doing well at the moment, so that's that's my main concern, as you know. But um, I've been to a memorial service. I've got home about twenty minutes ago. Um, need to go and shower and get some food in me and I might feel a bit better but at the moment I'm feeling rather drained some of you will know that a gentleman passed recently who had been through surgeries he'd broken um, a wrist, he'd broken his hip. Um, an elderly gentleman in his 80s um, and he came through that surgery comparatively recently and I'm talking about in the last two or three months. So he went through all of that only to when he was recuperating for it to be decided that um, I don't know I can't comment on it um, as I've not been able to comment on it today because I don't know the circumstances I just think it's very sad that somebody would go through all of that pain withstand the surgeries, come through the other end and then whilst he is recuperating to become bed bound, have his medication withdrawn and subsequently die. I've been asked questions today that I can't answer. Other people have been asked questions that they've given an opinion on. I would just say that being positive, really, is not a bad thing to be when the outcome is not going to be changed by you being negative. Being positive doesn't mean to say that you ignore the negative aspects of anything or that you're naive to what the facts are. It just means to say that you are trying, you are trying to make things better. You are trying to make, make things better in this instance for the people left behind. You're trying to make the best of a very difficult situation. As with when there are funerals and memorial services, etc., talk turns to religion and God. And like at weddings, you know, it can turn into um, a little bit of disagreement or arguments. So, my opinion here again is that. God doesn't have a religion. He doesn't, God doesn't follow a religion. God just is. The creator just is. And I've said it many times before. We're all on different roads to the same place. And simply because you call yourself a Christian it doesn't mean to say that you're gonna be knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door rather than the other place which by the way I don't believe exists because Christianity is not necessarily the right route Islam certainly in my eyes isn't the right route because of the, it isn't a religion of peace. 
I would say a lot of religion is bunkum. Follow your heart, follow your soul, listen to what your angels are telling you. Listen to the God spark within you, lead a decent life. And try to be positive without being naive, as I've tried to be today, positive. I'm not feeling too positive at the moment, I'm feeling pretty sad. Um, no doubt some idiot, whatever his name is, the half-wit, um, might make a video about that and about this gentleman dying, because that's what the whole lives are like. But I just wanted to get on and say where I've been and what's been happening. Some of you know. Um, and I think I'm, I'm probably going to... Um, I don't feel like sitting in and talking to myself this afternoon or tonight. So um, I might just take myself for a walk. Um, maybe have a... A glass of wine, I don't know. I didn't at the memorial service. I just um, just didn't feel like it. And um, I just hope that I've done somebody some good today. I tried to, one particular person. I tried to think what God's message, if you like, would be to somebody who is grieving. Or the message from their guardian angels, if you like. And it isn't about negative, it isn't about commiserating and saying, yes, this was bad, no, this shouldn't have happened. It's about looking for the positive. It's about thinking of kindness, compassion and love and sincerity. And I hope I've been able to do that today. I'm off now. I've made myself a cup of strong coffee. I think I'm going to go for a walk and um, I might come back later. Um, have a good evening everyone, bye bye.